got two things to talk about. One I'll try to be as quick as possible with. Um, the other, which you probably already heard of, the other ones, um, new details onto the new Doom. Of course, I wanted to record the old Doom because the FPS would just work better. Um, but the OS box had to be a bit of a bitch and I can't get it to run anymore for some reason. So, um, yeah, I'll just record this one. Um, so if you haven't heard, if you've not been up with the loop, um, in the loop, there's been an IGN writer who wrote a review and made a video on a, a video review and it was like word for word the same as um someone else's video review um boomstick gaming and they've planned to give him some conversation they've been talking about it nothing um official i don't think but they have been discussing it he's he's certainly got a lot of views um rgn's handled it well so far if, if you have been keeping in the loop and you've seen what rgn's done about it um the feel of the writer of the review um wrote a response to it and like i agree with everyone for hating rgn for this but like i think rgn's handled it pretty well but it's not really something that's made me hate ign because i've always hated ign because it's for a different reason is because their reviews are just trash and memeable and um they kind of just retell like they're so objective with their reviews that they like pretty much retell everything you do in the game and then they're just like here's the number because that's all you give a shit about you know so you can do your top tens with uh what we think of these games you could go oh, comparisons like i pre prefer to leave that shit out because then people don't look at my reviews they don't really see any of the points i have to make for why the game is good in these aspects and why they're bad and you know they just ignore those points and kind of look to that for comparisons and i like to view games as each their own different individual thing rather than you know compare x to y you know just look at it i mean for certain points in an argument i can get that and like why you think x was better than y or how it came to fruition the idea of that you know but yeah you know i've, I've always had ign for as long as i've known them even though sometimes i use their walkthroughs um this does make me hate them a bit more but and i'm not going to praise them for the situation properly because they're just doing business how business should be done so far it's, it's nothing really praiseworthy even though everyone's doing business nowadays so badly that it seems like it should be but it just isn't <clears throat> so on to what i would consider the big news now again it's, it's nothing that good um doom eternal if you hadn't seen on quake had a live stream recently they showed off gameplay and so forth now if you only if you want didn't actually watch it and you only watched a um a gameplay trailer for doom eternal because that's all i really gave a shit for and it was like at midnight so i wasn't staying up that late you know um even though i've, I've been losing sleep recently um some stuff going on in my life but um doom eternal um it's looking pretty good overall there's a lot of stuff that i could talk about there but we're not here to talk specifically about the gameplay, but rather something else that was announced. DLC pre-planned. Now, with the invasions, I could go on about that and how I don't like it. Um, because they are taking invasions because when they were making the game for Doom, um, Doom 1, the one that I'm playing right now, or rather Doom 4, I should say, 2016, my game of the year, of course, if you watch with my other videos um and in invasions although if you can turn it off like they claim you can then i don't mind i think it's more of a feature than i'm happy for but if it if it's forced or if it's at the floor of the level in game design and all that shit if it's forced on me at any point and if i can't actually turn it off then i'm only going to be infuriated at this inclusion of course but getting back to the dlc um we've got a statement here from um games radar i got a twitter post and 
I didn't realize that the link was actually to an article. So I got into a discussion with someone and I was getting like hell on me because I was saying it was day one DLC. And it's like, oh, well, it's actually not day one DLC. It's, it's just pre-planned and there's nothing wrong with that. Well, <clears throat> you can think that it's not wrong. That's fine. I mean, there's a lot worse in, in the game industry nowadays. So I can get why people get behind the red herring and just completely ignore the issues still got occurring like this. But um, it still it still seems bullshit. Like those those old uh, memes when DLC was the big issue um, with games and microtransactions were like the worst thing. Was um when including DLC turned into like you before you would make a product you would you would cut it in half, and try to resell those halves, including the game at full price still. And that, of course, I have a problem with. Um, you see, when they were making Cuphead, they took longer time after they revealed it for E3. They took longer time to make it. Why? Because more people were interested in it and they wanted to include more content. They simply just put it off rather than sell it, like making the game and selling it then, and then putting in later content as DLC. I mean, they, they've got DLC. But it wasn't planned that DLC before they released it, which is where in lies in lies the issue. Because I just can't help feeling like I'm being cheated. Here. I mean, I have some complaints with Doom Eternal how it looks now. I won't really air too many of them other than the Invasion one for now because you know I can't really judge it until the game's out. But none of it's really something that would outright stop me from enjoying the game. Whereas this. DLC include this DLC shit, um, I'd say it would peeve me off. Certainly. Something that would ruin my experience, especially if it's like a cream and they cut out the fucking proper ending for it. Now, that would be the absolute worst. Now, I don't think people are going to complain about it, but the problem is why I will is we aren't talking about EA and Bioware here. We're talking about motherfucking ID software. The people that taught Valve how to do their shit before Valve was even Valve, you know? We're talking about the big dogs that have been around in this industry for like 20 years, or probably more so. They're going down the, this sort of road, never resorting to these sort of things. It has me a little concerned, you know? And people only really seem to care about things when it sets a precedent over the entire game industry or something. However, people are getting worried about Spyro and how that's going to have to be downloaded for the other two games, which really isn't new at all. Not, not in this generation, not when the Xbox One and PS4 are almost out of their life cycle. It's pretty strange to see people complaining about it when... For the entire cycle of those consoles, most of the games have been downloaded to be able to play it. So it seems a bit weird that people are like, yeah, no, this is the one that we're going to complain about. You know, I mean, I guess for the Switch, the Switch is like, nah, man, just put it in and fucking play it. You know, you're good to go. Which is another huge reason why I love the Switch so much more. When I mean, you can get updates, of course, for games, but usually you can just jack it in and play. But, um, yeah, because this ID software, because I give a shit about Doom, you know, it was good. I was actually thinking, because I saw the previews of Doom 4 before it it was renamed to just Doom. Just Doom. It was back in, uh, back then, it was before, when it was a proper shooter and it was blood on the screen, and I'm like, oh, it's so bad. But when I saw it, I was kind of mixed, because I was still keen for it, to see it, and like, how uh, that shit internal but i'm certainly not happy for where things are, where things are going in the current direction but they do a 180 with this um but you know feel free to tell me what you think about this whole situation and this it's below mm -hmm. street talk with patrick fuck boyvin <laughs>